Hello friends, welcome back. So if you uh, go to the register post type function, you can see the add rewrite rules. Um, so it will create the object of the WP post type and it create the add rewrite rules function. So if you go to the add rewrite rules here, you can check everything like uh, formalink structure. It will take uh, what is the default formalink structure and it will add a rewrite tags, tags used for query words. Um, don't worry about it. We, uh, I will also uh, give an overview about these functions into the another video. Okay. And if there is this is the hash archive, then uh, they will check whether it's a with front or without front and everything. And based on that, they add the custom rewrite rules. Okay. Add rewrite rule function and then save into the database. And how these rewrite rules works, in, I will talk about in the next video. Okay. So, uh, and all the rewrite rules saved into the database. So, if you, for example, um, similarly, like if you go to the database here, if I refresh it, so in the permalink structure, so this is the permalink structure. Okay. So this permalink structure have the permalinks, which what permalinks we have uh, saved for the default post type. Okay. And if you go to the, for example, category base, so category base. So you can see the slash C because we have added a category base C. And if similarly for tag, it says slash T. Okay, and there is another uh, uh, rewrite rules option. So uh, these rules have everything. So let me just copy this function uh, and print it out to like uh, I have rewrite api.php file here. So I'm just using it for demo purpose, add action. I will use WP loaded action because uh, when this action executed, uh, before that, all the rewrite rules and everything will be uh, registered. Uh, and that that uh, all most of the, like if you want to customize the rewrite rules, we have to do it on in it hook or before the WP loaded action executed because at, on this action, the rewrite will be, will be flushed or will fetch from the database, okay? So uh, I will just here and uh, I will do a pre tag call a get option uh, and then I will just pass the rewrite rules here and let's see how, what the output we have set to getting. So here you can see all the list of the error. Uh, rewrite rules okay so at the top there is a rest api then the index uh, for rest api here you can see the films because uh, for the films we have the rewrite rules because uh, we have added for the archive page uh, there is a films so this is the archive page so it will do that uh, when this films uh, rewrite executed um, then this uh, uh, then post type equal to movie argument will pass i we will see how this rewrite rule have been matched and on what these query verse based on the query verse wordpress will identify the request it will fetch the data from the database and then display into front end so we will give a i will give a like uh, in the fox flow about that, how it works but i'm just showing that how this uh, UI structure uh, used and display are stored into the database whenever you update or flush the rewrite rules. Okay, and there is a film and everything. So these are the for our uh, for the single for then articles. Um, then these are the actor for single person. Then genre taxonomy, career taxonomy. Okay, and these are the rewrite rules for the default uh, pages. Okay, for the author and everything. So front, uh, if you if we have used static uh, static uh, keyword uh, into URL structure, it will become a front and it will apply to every uh, other um, uh, URL success like author archive page or date archive page or any other archive pages. You can see uh, the front, okay? But you can also remove the front uh, using uh, by doing filtration or or customization through the code, okay? So yeah, uh, that's all about uh, about rewrite API introduction in the first um, chapter in the first video. Okay, so I'm just commented out. So um, so you can try it out uh, uh, this all the custom structure and see uh, 
look for the rewrite argument of the register post type and register taxonomy and how things are uh, working okay how things looks in the wordpress code um, so yeah that's all about it try try this uh, in your local site and see how things are working so you have a better idea how this uh, you can maybe generate a custom structure based on these different tags and then you can use it permalink from various permalink function for example this is uh, there is a function called to for a single post uh, we for the post type or the single post we use the function get permalink okay so if you see in the get permalink function here uh, let me just close this one yeah so get permalink so when we call the get permalink it will uh, create a uh, we will pass the post id right so and then these are the rewrite code so all these tags we have seen uh, into permalink settings right year month day author category post id and uh, and based on that so it will get the permalink uh, of the post so if there is a page if the current post is a page post type then it will call the get page link because pages have a different permalink structure attachments have a different permalink structure and the post types have a di uh, different so if there is no uh, so post attachments um, those are the built-in uh, custom uh, post types so uh, if you so in get post types the built-in uh, argument have been passed for so it will only return the array of the post types uh, which are the custom created by or registered by the third party plugins or the teams okay so in that for like for example movie and uh, person post type the get post permalink function will be called okay and for default post uh, it will take a value of the permalink structure option and it will take what the url structure uh, we have been um, set by the user it and then some filters execute like pre post link if you want to change the permalink structure and based on the permalink structure they replace the uh, this query words okay the, the tags we have used like we can also call the placeholders and based on this placeholders it will be replaced by the actual value so if it's a category then it will take a, it will get a category and if what if there are multiple categories assigned to a post so in that case it will sort in the alphabetical order and the first category will be used into the uh, url structure not all the categories will be used okay um, then you can there are a couple of filters have been provided which you can use maybe if it's needed or to have to achieve some custom use cases and then it will change every placeholder like if there is an author then it will change by the post author name user nice name right and it will just do a search and replace with all the provided data so this search and replace like in this order they will pass the search and replace parameter replace parameter so these are the date like year month day and everything and this is a post name author category and then it will just do a search and replace with the array and then use the home url to construct the entire url and then uh, we are good to go okay so this way and this is the user trailing slash it whether you want to keep the slash into um in the ur structure or not and this is also interesting one so i will also give a overview about in this video itself okay so in this if you go through this function you will understand how this your permalink structure will be replaced with actual data with actual post data okay and similarly if you go talk about the get post permalink like the this function used for the custom post type so it will take, get the extra permalink structure of the post type okay and then it will do a search and replace based on the tags and then we are good to go all right so you can go through this and if you want to filtering out then you can use the post type link and i will give a walkthrough how we can use the custom you like i also want a custom url structure which we have for the post for example if you go back here uh, instead of the articles maybe i will keep the movies or the films or the people or the person and then the, i want to add instead of the category i want to add um, genre taxonomy for the movie post type career taxonomy for the person post type and then post name which is a movie slug or person post log and then post id i want to use similar uh, structure for the custom post type as well how we can do that right so i will also uh, in the another video i will give one example of the custom url structure how we can uh, implement a custom url structure for custom post types okay so yeah so for that this will be used okay so this is very important now go let's talk about uh, uh, 
user trailing slash it. So it will just see whether the use trailing slash or not. So like whether you want the trailing slash into the end of the URL or not. For example, if I remove the slash from end, if I click a save changes. So if you go to the uh, movie or default post, for example, block image. So here you don't see the slash. Okay. So if and uh, if we have removed the permal slash from the permalink structure, what a permalink structure in the custom structure, it will be removed for all the all the URLs. So if I go here, go to the movies for example, and if you see here, you the slash also removed from the URL of the custom post type, right? So so this way, uh, uh, if we if you want the URL structure without uh, trailing slash you can you can simply just uh, uh, remove from this uh, custom structure whatever custom structure you have selected and then remove it and uh, wordpress will set this uh, uh, use trailing slashes a uh, proper uh, property of the wp rewrite class based on this permalink structure if the permalink structure and uh, trailing with the slash then it will set a true else it will set a false and based on that it will just remove the training slash or or add the training slash and then return the url structure but this is very important if you want the url structure without training slash okay by default it's with the training slash okay yeah so that's all about it so go through this all the functions and similarly like uh, if you go through the uh, not uh, function get term link okay so this function called uh, from the get category link function as well okay and get tag function as well so in the get uh, term link here you can we have to pass a term object and we have to define the taxonomy but if you do not define taxonomy then it will take a uh, taxonomy from the, uh, the by the term but we have to pass the taxonomy okay and then it will get extra permalink structure okay so which are the structures saved for the taxonomy so if you go here, I will like we will see into WP Rewrite uh, uh, in the another video where I will give a walkthrough about the WP Rewrite uh, class. Okay, and then it will you you have like preterm link if you want to change the uh, perma uh, permalink structure for the terms, and then it will do a search and replace based on these rewrite rules we have set uh, through the register taxonomy functions and do a search and replace. And then it will just, uh, if it's a post tag taxonomy, then it will apply the tag link filter. If it's a category, then it will be a category link filter. And if it's a not taxonomy, custom taxonomy terms, then it will be a term link. Okay. So this filter will be applied. So this uh, function also similar to get a permalink function, but only it will work for the uh, taxonomy terms. Okay. And it will do a search and lip. So you can go through. Uh, these functions and understand how it do a search and replace how it will get the permalink structure saved in the database and uh, use the WB that class to get it and then uh, whatever the struct uh, permalink structure saved uh, created or assigned or set for the post types or the taxonomies and based on it do a search and replace and it will create a URLs okay so yeah um, that's all about uh, about permalink settings and default uh, uh, URL structure for the custom post types and taxonomies, how you can change it and uh, and uh, behind the scenes of those functions, get permalink function, get term link function. Okay, so you can go through those function as well. Okay, yeah, so that's all about it. See, uh, we, I will give a walkthrough about WP Rewrite class in the next video. Okay, so yeah, till then you can go through it and try it out in your local system. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, see you on the next one. Enjoy your case.